center of your space and then step each foot about two feet out to the right of center. And now turn all 10 toes outward and start to bend both knees. And for a moment here, just place your hands on the tops of your thighs. And what you're gonna do is start to press them back, back towards the bookshelf here, as you kind of sink a little bit lower in your hips. So you wanna get your hips all the way down to about knee height here, parallel to the ground. And for a moment, you can take a little stretch if you'd like to send one shoulder forward and then the other. And then try to keep your hips low and start to release your hands. So now you're really gonna feel those legs turn on. And notice if you're really folding forward a lot, you're gonna to wanna to kind of sit back and you also don't want your knees to kind of knock in. So you wanna keep opening them out and back. So here back towards the bookshelf and bring your hands to your heart center. You can take a tiny little bounce if that feels good. Just kind of move back and forth. Let's take a deep breath together here. Inhale, deep exhale. And on your next inhale, reach everything all the way up, straighten out, look up. And exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Now pivot on your heels and just turn all 10 toes in. Take another inhale, reach up again, lift your heart towards the sky. And then with a flat back, exhale, fold forward over your legs. So you might wanna take a wider stance, that's up to you. Just let your upper body drape towards the ground. You can walk your hands back in between your legs. And gently look left and right to release your neck. You're gonna walk your hands right under your shoulders. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And we're gonna turn all the way to the right here. So I'm gonna turn all 10 toes to face the right. And now make sure that your legs aren't crossed. So I'm gonna walk my feet a little wider. And I'm gonna come up to a high lunge. So if you have a mirror or anything that you can look, maybe you don't have a mirror, but you just wanna look down, you can see whether your front thigh is parallel to the ground. If not, if it's like this, you're just gonna to wanna to sink a little lower, make it a little more difficult. And if there's too much stretch in your low back and hip region, you can just start to bend your back knee a little bit. That's fine. If it feels okay, you can always straighten that leg out. So that's up to you and how you're feeling. So bring your arms up overhead if you haven't yet. And let's take a big inhale here, reach up. And as you exhale, bring your arms behind you and lean your chest forward, roll your shoulders back. You can do that twice more. So inhale, reach everything up, come straight up. Exhale, lean forward, draw your shoulder blades back. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. On your inhale, you're gonna lift everything up, come back through center. Then let's try exhaling right over to the left side. So if you need a second, you can adjust your stance to be wider so that you're more balanced. And just like on the first side, you know, just start to see what you need to do to make this work. So if there's too much stretch in this area of your hip or in your low back, you can bend your back knee. If you like that stretch, you want some more, you can straighten that out. And then try to get your front thigh kind of parallel to the floor. When you've gotten your stance, lift your arms up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chest forward, shoulder blades back, arms back. Really engage your shoulders. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades together behind you. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way back up to center. And then let's exhale, fold like we started here. So toes pointing forward or slightly in. And just take a moment to rest your legs, catch your breath.
And from here, you're gonna inhale, halfway lift. And you're just gonna exhale, doesn't matter to which direction, just come into a plank pose. So there's a couple options with plank. You can do full plank like I'm doing here. You can do the same thing, but with your knees down. If you have your knees down, you wanna get your whole body flat like this. So you don't want your butt to be up. <laughs> you want your body to be like one straight line through to your knees. Now with the knees up or down, you can also do fists if you have sensitive wrists, or you can do forearms. So forearm with the knees down or with the knees up. So any of these um, plank poses are a good option. Pick your pose and let's meet into whichever plank option you're doing. And if you're on your toes, just kind of move around front and back for a moment and bend your knees. Just kind of try to make it a little more fluid and relaxed. Now, whether your knees are up or down, just start to lean your hips over to the left and then over to the right. Keep breathing over to the left and over to the right. One more time each side. And then slowly lower all the way down to your belly. And let's take a cobra pose. So untuck your toes, keep your hips towards the ground, lift your chest, Roll your shoulders back, maybe look up. And then lower back down to the ground. Now you're gonna keep your toes untucked. You're gonna interlace all 10 fingers behind you. And before you lift up, you can just kind of roll around here to get comfortable. Now keep your neck relaxed, might mean looking down. And you're gonna lift your chest up off the ground and then start to lift your feet up off the ground as well. This is called locust pose. So you're just kind of resting on your low belly area. If you can lift up higher than this, that's great. This is where my body wants to go today only. <laughs> and breathe here. Keep your neck relaxed. Take one more inhale, lift everything up. And exhale, release, put one cheek to the ground. Just rest for a moment. Maybe you can feel your heart beating on the ground as it connects. And keep everything the same, just switch to the other cheek to even out. And then bring your face back to face the ground and put your hands right under your shoulders, tuck your toes. And now it's okay if you need to use your knees a bit for this. You're gonna press up into your plank pose and then go straight to your downward facing dog. When you get there, you can gently shake your head left and right, pedal out your legs, make whatever movement feels good here. and then find a steady breath in stillness. I'm just gonna inhale your right leg all the way up, keep your hips squared, so don't open your hips, keep them closed. And then exhale, just step that foot back down. Let's do the other side. Inhale the left leg up, keep your hips squared. Exhale, put it down. I'm gonna do that twice more on each leg. So if your inhale, lift your heel up, exhale down. You're not gonna be able to lift as high as if your hips open, but that's fine. One more time each side. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. Keep your neck relaxed. Last side, inhale, left leg up, exhale, put it back down. Now you're gonna come like you're gonna go into tabletop, but you're just not gonna drop your knees all the way down. So here we are. It's like I'm dropping into tabletop, but my knees are just right off the ground. So don't sink into your shoulders. Strong through the shoulders, firm up through your belly, kind of like you're pulling your belly button in. 
like you're pressing the ground away. Just look down between your hands, neutral neck. Breathe here. And start to open your knees wide. Put them down on the ground. Untuck your toes, bring your big toes to touch and take a child's pose here. If you'd like to, you can bend your elbows. And that's going to be the end of our yoga for strength practice for today. So stay here for as long as you'd like. And you can also always stretch out a little bit more on your own after this. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day or night.